Last time on Ghost of Tsushima, Jin Sakai met with a swindler and merchant Kenji to once again bail him out of trouble. This time his friend was captured by the Mongols and both had to be saved. Gather everything you can, and when I visit that camp, I'm going to find it overflowing with food and medicine, correct? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. For the next round of Kenji's troubling choices, he angered a bandit leader and needed the protection of Jen once again. I owe you my life, Lord Sakai. You owe me more than that. Whatever you want. A sake, a saddle polish, a nice... Kenji, why risk your life over trifles? Not trifles. I need food, money, a warm fire. You helped me save Taka. Delivered medicine to people in need. Yeah, <laughs> that was heroic, wasn't it? You have a talent, Kenji. It's time you use it for the sake of our island. Of course. Honor is my specialty. Afterwards, Jin met up with Yuna to help her with a personal plight of vengeance. When were you imprisoned here? A lifetime ago. Taka and I were still children. Do you remember what happened? Every moment. Kichizo's beatings. The stink of Manzo's breath. And Taizo's filthy little hands. If we kill them, we'll send a message to their master. Draw Altan out of hiding. Jin found out that Yuna and Taka were enslaved, and the slavers were still around, now working with the Mongols. That is until Jin quietly entered their camp and took their heads. They'll never take another slave. Tell me they suffered. Not as much as they deserved. But all of Otsuna will know what became of them. All the horrible things they did. For years. And I knew. But I never did anything. You can do something now. It's time we sent Altan a message. Written in blood and covered in flies. The Slaver Brothers weren't the only heinous villains in his story. The Black Wolf was the one responsible for luring in and abusing young children. The monster was promptly killed by Yuna at Jin's behest. Whatever you think I've done, Altan forced me. You enslaved children! No, I- You've done it for 20 years! You held me and Taka captive! Sold us to the Mamushi slave farm! Taka... He was my favorite. But the way I remember it, you brought him to me. I didn't know. You know, he's yours. <laughs> <laughs> The Mongol warlord Alton was slain soon after, and now Jin plans to return to his family estate to retrieve his father's armor. Omi village. Home. It's finally time to go home. I need the armor of my family. And after that, we'll go help earn a few fighters. They'll join our side and we'll fight together. Now, let's have a look inside. I haven't been here for a while. No sign of Mongols. That's actually very shocking. Why would they not come here? Where is it? How dare you! Oh, young master. I feared you were dead! <laughs> I came as soon as I could. It's good to see you, Yuriko. You look tired. Are you hungry? Not now. Thank you. The Khan's army must have marched past here. Have you had any trouble? A few bandits. Nothing I can't take care of. I've come for my father's... My armor. You refused to wear it at Komoda Beach. A lot has changed since then. I hid it somewhere safe. I like her a lot. 
What dedication, loyalty, and sincerity really coming from one person? He's my new buddy. Come this way. Sure. These old bones. I'll get Taichi to help me fetch it. He's at the cemetery. What's he doing there? Tending the grounds. Gathering plants for my poisons. Keeps vermin out of our food stores. I'm glad you're not alone. What about Lord Shimura? Alive. The Mongols captured him at Komoda. But we freed him. Oh. Others survived. And they're helping you? A few. Lady Masako. Good. She's been fighting alongside the boys since she was knee-high. <laughs> You'll have to tell me more about that someday. But it's just the two of you? A few others. Sensei Ishikawa. I haven't seen him in years. Does he still act like he's the only one who knows how to do things? Half the time he's right. But his aim is unmatched. He would certainly agree. That's really funny. Anyone else? Nope, that's really it. A few others. <laughs> and that was it. Hello there. Lord Sakai, you're back. I wish I could stay. But I hear you're taking good care of Yuriko. You've got that backwards, my lord. Taichi, help me get the Sakai armor. Go. I should pay my respects. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. The wind is leading me over here, if I have it right. Come on, Tai Chi. His home is a mess. I mean, look. It's not like you would know that I would be back at any point. I'm shocked to even know that I'm alive, but... That's Yoriko. Over here. We're finally here. Hello, Father. It's been a minute. Reflect on legacy. I mourn my father. His grave close, his soul distant. Let's have a look now. I don't like that one. All things pass away. This old tree lives on. I mourn my father. His grave close, his soul distant. This old tree lives on. Okay. Now for his armor. Let's go pick that back up. What a tumultuous relationship. At the very end, he says, please help me. You could do nothing but watch. The shame that must have brought upon him, even though he was only a small child, that scar has got to run deep. Which is why I understand when he's willing to do whatever it takes to rid the lands of these Mongols. Alright, so I'm heading over here. Ah. I also don't mind just running through them. It's rather beautiful. I've done so much. Look at that smoke rising. Clearly something bad is happening over there. There's only a few forts I've not yet visited. I've been to quite a few. I'm saving up all of my supplies to upgrade my new armor. Ah, here it is.
It is time for revenge. Against everyone. Everything, everyone. <gasps> Young master? Are you alright? Yes, just lightheaded. For a moment I thought you looked. Face us, coward! Get inside. Oh, who's in trouble now? Sakai Mask. And over here? Kazumasa, my father. Oh, is that who I'm fighting? Right to come crawling back home. Crawling. You will suffer a traitor's fate. Now you'll die. And they are all dead. Yuriko. Wonderful. Now she has more to pick up. While wearing his armor, standoff streak increased by one and standoff wins occasionally terrified by enemies. Good. Very good. Anyway. Oh, don't tell me. Don't be afraid. Look, you can't be afraid of me. It's just me. Are you all right? You butchered them. Is Yarikawa giving us trouble again? The Yarikawa Rebellion was 20 years ago. Those men were with the Mongols. Of course. Seeing you like that, I'm still shaken up. I need to catch my breath. By the lake. Your favorite tree. Yes. Come. Is she okay? Is she gonna make it? You said it? earlier you've been making poisons. Keeps the vermin out of our rice. Can you make it stronger? Enough to kill a man? No one deserves that. Can you do it? The effects in larger doses are ugly. Good. Oh, my lord. What? I'm here to free the lands. What do you Sit want from with me? me a moment. Poison has never been the Sakai way. No Sakai had to fight the Mongol Empire. I need every weapon we have. Tsushima can't afford anything less. The Mongols have changed you, young master. The world has changed. My mother taught me about plants that heal, others that harm, even kill. But they must be consumed. How will you poison the invaders? A blowgun and darts. I've read of their use by a Genji warrior who studied with monks from the west. Will you help me? Promise me you'll remain the good man I know. I promise. I've looked after your every need since your mother carried you. I won't stop now. All I need is something to make a blowgun. Mm, used to be a lot of reeds on the other side of the lake, where the old fishermen lived. Remember? You and your little friend gathered them to make little boats. Ryuzo and I, we spent all day reenacting the Battle of Dunoda. Be careful, Jin. I've seen fires over there at night. Not sure who it is. Don't worry, I'll be back soon with reeds. It's I'll probably the Mongols. Here. I've still yet to see anything I've done that's really brutal, though. That's been my biggest quandary. Everything I've done has been kind of in line with what everyone else is doing, where we're all fighting. I used my blade. I beat them. Didn't, like, torture them or anything like that. Let's go for a little dip over here. Get into the water. But, hey, they're trying to paint me as conflicted. I'm not conflicted. In fact, I'm more dedicated to my cause than ever before. We're outnumbered. We don't, we don't have any army, so I've got to become the army. I'm... The embodiment of fear and terror. Alright, so I've made it to the other side now. Now, show me wind. Need to head over here. Thank you. Gotten better at reading the wind and... Ooh, Yuriko enemies. Was right. The old fisherman's home has been taken over by bandits. Poor old man. Anyway. 
Let's fight again. They're only lightly armored. Well, not even armored. There we are. That's two. Got more to kill. Wonder, do I get to hit him as well? Oh yeah. Four dead. I like this armor a lot. One extra kill for my standoff? Now that's good. Alright, let's have a look around here. There are more to kill. Holy crap. Yeah, there are more to kill. I've got to gather reeds. Let's see. Not over here. They have no loot for me. I'll keep on looking. Keep on looking around here. While I kill a few more bandits. Yeah, it could be on the other side. That's very likely. I can use my bow, which is what I'm going to do instead. Oh, it didn't actually kill him. That's very surprising. Oh, it was going to allow me to do another standoff, which is even more surprising, but awesome. All right, let's kill him. And one more after that. They are all dead now. Now, that should be it, right? Not a lot of reeds. Perfect for a blowgun. I'll get these to Utico. Okay, let's go back. She'll be like, how did you get them? Why are you covered in blood? Eh, you know, partying. I'm young. Did what I had to do. Huh, someone stacking rocks. The age-old tradition. Oh, a gift altar right over here. That's fascinating. I'll take that. I'll take those too. I've been doing a lot of work lately. Anyway, let's head on back and talk to Yuriko. Alone in the world. <laughs> Yuriko? <gasps> Excuse me, young master. You caught me thinking about Lord Sakai. I try not to do that. He loved you in his way. Enough of the past. We have a blowgun and darts. All I need now is the poison. Of course, young master. Come with me. Yeah, I'll follow her. Oh, wow. A small camp horse. where I gather plants and herbs for ointments. So we're going to be using poison. It kills vermin within moments. Make it strong enough for the invaders. Yeah, do that, old lady. I can't believe I'm making her do that. But she's going to do it. And my God, she can ride. Look at her go. All right, Grandma. Poison Grandma is crazy. She's like, look, I might be old, but I'm wily. I'm spry. So we're going over to the right now. It's nice to ride with you again. You and Lord Shimura taught me to ride. <laughs> On that runt pony. <laughs> you sat so tall and straight in your little saddle. Like you were the Shogun himself. I mean, I could be. No, that's not going to happen. But wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Alright. We're not going to topple another massive clan. We're barely here on Tsushima. Little backwater place. Oh, oh no, little Jin. What's so funny? I just remembered it was out here you nearly killed your uncle. What? You were three or four. The poor man was trying to teach you how to hold your wooden kodachi. You wanted to chase butterflies. I know the story. My uncle's black eye took weeks to heal. <laughs> Lord Shimura and your father laughed so hard, I fear they'd both choke to death. I don't remember my father's laugh. He lost his humor after your mother got sick. But you have your father's laugh. Oh boy. Here we are. When have I laughed? I don't remember that too. It's been a while. I was and a campfire. You sleep out here? Only when I spend the day foraging for plants. I'll look for the flowers we need. Rest, Yuriko. I will get them for you. 
Yeah, and I'll take your stuff while I'm here, too. Yeah, those belong to me now. Thank you very much. Anyway, I'm gonna go pick them up. Yeah, she can take Don't it easy. The seeds. They're poisonous. I'm not a child, Yuriko. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. I know. Okay. Remember how we'd gather flowers for your mother? She arranged them for the little alcove at home. That should be enough. Bring them to me, young master. Your plants. Good. We extract the seeds, crush them, make a paste, and dip the needles. Make sure the dose is strong. It should do what you need. It's done. You're sure he came this way? The old woman has a camp around here somewhere. Listen. Someone's coming. Stay there, Yuriko. Let's see if this poison works. He will regret what he did to Sadamune and the others. I just want his head, and the price that goes with it. How much farther? It's around here somewhere. Let me get my hair. That's two. Oh, I'd meant to hit him. Oh well. It worked? It definitely worked. Holy crap. That's brutal, man. Should make my own clan. A new clan, a better clan. Are you hurt, young master? Oh yeah, sure. I think um I blew too hard and my lips are I, I don't I don't know. No, I feel great. Don't worry. I dealt with them. <sighs> sometimes I forget you're a grown man. I forget sometimes too. We should get back to the estate. I'll stay. I need to straighten the place up. Don't push yourself too hard. Hush! You are not a child, and I'm old enough to take care of myself. What other kinds of poison can you make? Always so impatient. There is another. It causes confusion and rage. But the ingredients... What were they? So a love potion? Try to remember. It sounds useful. Same. Confusion and rage. It's probably a love potion. You're a good horse, noble. That is true. Goes from the past. Now have my family armor. I just need to upgrade it as much as I can. But I am going to do that. It's very good stuff. Got every stance upgrade. I only have a few more things to upgrade. Largely ghost abilities right now. Red leaves? No, it has petals. A, a flower? No, not that. Oh, mother. I... Young master, would you like something to eat? I'm fine, Yuriko. I just need the poison. You are trying to remember the ingredients. They were flowers. You remember them, don't you? The ones I planted at your family cemetery. I remember washing the graves. Father made me hold buckets of water from the lake. He knew it would make you strong and teach you to respect your ancestors. Don't you remember the flowers, Jin? Spider lilies. That's right. It's time to make more poison. I figured I should do that right now. There's no point in waiting. Might as well get her to work. She's my little poison making factory. <laughs> Alright, let's go follow her real quick. With enough spider lilies, you can craft a poison that makes rats go mad. Tear each other to pieces. Oh my god. It's awful. It's for a good cause. Just make it strong enough to work on men. <sighs> if you think it's necessary. I know exactly where to find what we need. This way. Okay, let's go. This part of the forest. I was here when I was a child. After your mother passed away. I refused to believe she was gone. So I ran from home and came here. Your mother loved to take long walks here. I searched until sundown. I kept shouting for her. But she was gone. And I was lost. You were missing for three days. 
nearly dead by the time your father found you. I've never seen him so angry. Angry at himself for failing to protect you. I've seen your father before countless battles, and he was never more worried than the sleepless nights he spent searching for his only son. Yeah. Not much farther to the cemetery. Okay. I wonder what your father would make of the ghost. He would disapprove, like my uncle. Don't be so sure. They argued often. Kazumasa thought your uncle too rigid, willfully blind to possibilities. Kazumasa had imagination. Imagination? My father? <laughs> You're like him in more ways than you know. Oh, damn. It's a shame he went out the way he did, because, I mean, that was rough. Stand and fight anyway, me. let's fight him. Go to go. Wait here. Yeah, they're rude as hell. Oh, I've got a lot of you to kill. Even if I mess up, I can make up for that. I got him too, and there's another one. I did it, Yoriko. I did it. Now, do we have more to kill? Or is that it? Oh. Who's over here? I'm willing to say hello. Ah. Yeah. There's plenty here. Plenty. Here's what I'm going to do right now. I don't have any poison. I've got explosive arrows. Shoot, I was hoping to have a few heavy arrows, but that's fine. I'll just take care of these archers. All right, how many more do I need to kill? There's, oh my God, there's so many. Wow. Where are all of you? Did you know that I would be here or are you just like chilling here? What's up, man? Tell me the ways. Oh, 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 oh. Don't catch it on fire. I need that. Those are my, oh, Jesus. He caught himself on fire, did he? Oh, nearly. That was great. Anyway, he's dead. Did I butcher them now, Yoriko? Just fighting them. Calm down. Okay. Back to my shield. And we're going to finish him off real fast like. Yoriko, do you need a hand? I just found one for you. Might be handy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You know what? If you're going to use fire, I'm going to use fire. I think I caught his friend on fire, did I? Yeah, hey, buddy. Now he's on fire. You're hot stuff. Oh, ho, ho. nice. That got me there, pal. nearly over. Come on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hold on. Let me get back to him. Let me get back to him. Now it's over. But before I talk to Yordiko, I've got to go get my supplies again. We can't forget about those. Those are always very important, especially because I'm low on a lot of combat supplies, which is okay because, I mean, finding more is normally not an issue. Just doing a very concerted job at focusing on one task at a time. Where's she at? She's over here. Okay, yeah. Hi. Did you drive them off? Yeah, kind of. To hell. Yes. It's safe to look for the spider lilies. Why would we look for them here? Isn't this where you used to plant them? Oh. Uh, no, not here. It's been so long. Sure. They're in another cemetery. Your great aunt's branch of the family. It's not far. Okay. Let's grab Nobu and get a move on. Wait, 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 wait. Crickets. I heard them. I know that sound now. Yuriko, do you remember I was five or six? I had a nightmare about this forest. A fight. It wasn't a nightmare. I told you it was to keep you calm. That was real? I remember men shouting. Our retinue was returning home late one night. We were ambushed by Ronin. The Ronin must have been dangerous. My father's samurai were frightened. Not of the Ronin. Of Kazumasa. Of my father? Why? He and his samurai drove the Ronin off. 
But Kazumasa pursued them on foot. You could hear their screams. He returned to us just before dawn, covered in blood. Some of his own men mistook him for a demon of the forest. Do you recognize this lake? We used to meditate here. <laughs> How you'd fidget. You told me to pretend I was a rock, and all I wanted was to swim. <sighs> the view's much better from the shore. Join me, young master. These old bones need a rest. Okay, let's have a rest. So my father is pretty cool. I wish he kind of articulated that to me beforehand. Evidently, I don't remember much of him. I was young. This time, you'll have to keep me from fidgeting. Yeah, very well. All right, let's rest. Some of my favorite memories happened at this lake. Stopping a child's fidgeting? Your mother and I would come here when she was pregnant with you. We should keep moving. <laughs> a grown man, and you still can barely sit still. We can meditate again, after the war. Yes, young master. Okay, let's travel again. Learning a lot about my past. I was wondering how the game would be different if they made Act 1 just all about him growing up. So you would get to know his father and how he was. And you would see him like from adolescence to a older Quickly, man no. or a teenager. And then fall of his father. And then you would transition Cemetery Act 2. Isn't far. Feels much closer when you're not carrying water. That way you would become rather attached to your home and they wouldn't have to tell you after the fact about your own memories but you would have lived through them okay How could they? they may break stone but they cannot erase the memory of these warriors please gather the spider lilies i can't bear to look man taking a bunch of stone from the local area pretty brutal I think she's going to be okay with me making poison now. See, you just have to observe what they're doing. Then once you do that, you go, hey. Matsu would weep at the condition of this place. Most of these warriors fell in the rebellion at Yarikawa. Wow. They deserve better than this. That's a lot of warriors who died. And now we have, like, what, none? There's just me. <laughs> just me and my uncle. There we are. I've got all three. Getting closer. I'm going to help out that monk afterwards, I think. I'm about ready to do that, too. This is all I could find. It is enough to make the poison, but I don't want our time to end. The Shimura Cemetery isn't far. With a view of the waterfall. Let's go, my lord. Now that actually made me feel sad. This poor old lady, she's so lonely. I should say, hey, let's sell the land and I'll buy like, I don't know, a house in town. That way she could have friends and hang out with people or do something that isn't just her being alone with one guy taking care of my estate. <sighs> Kazumasa, I do enjoy our rides together. Did you say Kazumasa? <laughs> Did I? You ride with your father's grace. Did you often go riding with my father? Lord Sakai taught me to ride a horse. Interesting. Okay. Careful. Mongols ahead. Wait. I can mix the new poison for you. Oh my god. That was quick, lady. See? She's excited now. She's How on board. Work? Oh, it's terrible. Causes madness. They'll turn on each other like wild beasts. Good. Make it. Quickly. I like where this is going. The poison is finished. Take it. Okay, hallucination dart. Not a good hallucination either. Alright, so we'll come over here. I've got two types of ammo right now. And I wonder. Let's see here. Clear the camp of my foes. 
I can do that. I wonder if I should wait to use it on maybe someone who's closer to... Oh, 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 the stupid bird. Where's this dumb bird? Oh, I see it. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to shoot that bird. Maybe not with a flaming arrow. That might be a little bit much, but a standard one. Go away. But yeah, a standoff would be fine, but let's see here. Blowgun time. I hit him with it. What's going to happen? I can't wait to see. He's like, whoa, man. But we must set an example for our people by remaining true to our code and to ourselves. The poison's just for now. After the Mongols are gone, I won't need it. Oh, I get it. He'll have changed and he'll always resort to the quicker ways. Oh, look at him. He's crazy. Well, that's awesome. Oh, they're really going after him, huh? Damn. Check that out. There's so many of them. Whoa, I could do some really great harm over there. Hold on, hold on. Let's... Oh, damn it. Hold on. The damn bird. Where is it at? There it is. Got that bird, too. Well, that was cool as hell. All right, hold on. I want to hit that guy, too. All right, now that I've done that, I've got over here some black powder bombs. Those could be fun. I'm going to wait a moment, because I do want to hurt them a lot. And I want them to fight first. Yeah, check it out. Oh, damn. I'm going to throw that real quick. Whoa, who's over here? Weird, huh? Anyone looking over here? Not really, not yet. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think it's time. Don't let him move. The archers see me, though. That's my big question. I killed so many of them. Someone's shooting over here. You're very much aware that I'm in the local area. Alright, let's go. Hi there. Bye now. All right, let's go. Where's that archer at? Is he up? I hear someone to my left. Here, let me just move over here real quick and we can just have a better look at what they're all doing. And I need to find out where that one archer is at. Ah, there you are. I was wondering. Got him. All right, so we have more to kill and it's going to be a different scenario than usual. I don't have any more poison. That's a shame. I do have explosive arrows, so. Yeah, those are a pretty good start. And then after that, I got some firecrackers. Maybe that'll help out. They don't know I'm here. He's on fire. Oh, you're not on fire. Okay. So you're going to make my life a little bit more challenging than it should be. Actually, let's just do this here. Oh, thought you would fight me, but you just ran. Nice one, man. You did hit me. Very good work. Not sufficient. I'm tired of the bird. Hold on, hold on. You know what? I'm going to catch you on fire. Mmm, cooked bird. Delicious. Oh, there's more of you. Okay. Easy enough. And the camp is completely cleaned out. I'm not going to use my points yet. Not bandits. Mongols. Oh, I couldn't see them from here. After all this, I'm worried about the Shimura Cemetery, my lord. Would you check on it with me? Of course, Yuriko. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's go now. Go travel with her a little bit more. It's been a much longer quest line than I thought it would be. Are you tired, Yuriko? No, Lord Sakai. This is the best day I've had since our afternoon at Lake Omi. I don't remember that. You are sure that was me? It, it was so long ago. You must have forgotten. Oh, no. What happened over there? Oh, I hope it wasn't what I think it is between my father and her. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> 
The war hasn't touched this place. Yeah, there's a lot of little statues here. Adorable. But that might be why she treats me like a son. <laughs> Dad was like, look, I taught her how to ride. Do you remember, young master? We'd pay our respects to the Shimura warriors buried here. Then spend the afternoon writing poems. I remember, Yuriko. Let's write one now. Right now? Well, hold on. Before we do that, I could hear crickets. Done. Now I have 10 out of 20. Just have to find graveyards. Ah, reflect on impermanence. Remind me of my own mortality, why don't you? What's over here? Soaring ambition? Unmoving mountain? What's over here? Unbreakable walls. Ambition. I am about that today. After that, blowing water. The works of men are frail. Stone abides rushing water. I'll be about endlessly flowing water. Then after that, life flows into death. Life blossoms and fades, and up here we've got what? Lords and clans vanish. We made it about nature before, so we'll choose a more pertinent topic. Soaring ambition. Endlessly flowing water. Lords and clans vanish. Well said, my lord. The proud do not endure. The greatest of us fall in the end. We should return to Omi. I'll stay a while. I know better than to argue. Good. You learned something today. Kazumasa used to say Lord Shimura was too concerned with that castle. The strongest point on the island. He equated strength with the, the huge, the immovable, like a mountain. He had a point. Doubt and indecision have destroyed armies. In the midst of battle, true leaders must stay rooted, stand firm. But look at that waterfall. All that immovable rock yields to water. The strength we need is all around us. I have one more place I would like to visit, my lord, when you're ready. One more place, okay. Crown do not endure. She's having me contrast the lessons of my uncle, leading me down a different pathway. Another point. Or, we're nearly there. Yuriko's keepsake, ranged charm. Interesting. Got my crickets. I wonder if we can go do it now. Lord Sakai. <coughs> oh, no. I don't like that at all. Excuse me. The cold wind is getting to me. Yuriko, you're not well. Nonsense. Let me take you to Akashima. They can treat you. We have to visit someplace special. Where? It's not far. After that, I promise we will see your healers. Fine. But if you start feeling worse, we go straight to Akashima. Of course, my lord. Always so stern. <laughs> oh no, is she gonna make it? I swear, if she dies here, I'm gonna be so upset. I just got to know her. They're like, no, you must lose everything, Jen. Become hate incarnate. 
Yeah, it's working. It's working. Where is this special place of yours? You'll see. You cannot tell me? I won't have to. Okay. Afterwards, I'm gonna go upgrade my armor, change it a little bit. Lead the way. Let's see if you can keep up. Careful, Yuriko. Yeah, she might pass on. She's not sounding great. Kind of came out of the blue. Taichi's not going to like me very much. He's like, the one day you get here is the day that she potentially passes on. Okay, buddy. You need to leave. <laughs> and I'm like, but it's my house. He's like, oh, okay, well, crap. So we're going up here and not down there. Gotcha. Let's follow her real quick. There's some white smoke over there to the northeast of where I'm looking. Do you know where we are? There's an onsen around here, isn't there? Oh, we're going to the onsen. All right. Vacation episode, right? No, that's not true. There it is. Heck yeah. Shall we take a closer look? Oh boy. I don't want to see anything here. I just want to enjoy it on my own. Thank you very much. Oh no. Made it. Isn't it beautiful? Very. Why are we here? Are you upset? I hope it's not wrong of us to come. I don't understand. Oh, it's so painful to see you weighed down by sadness with Lady Sakai and the little one. <laughs> Yuriko, are you alright? It's nothing. I just felt a little faint. When did you last eat? Yesterday, I think. Wait here. I'll find us something. I'm not a child. Please, Yuriko. Rest here a moment. As you wish. Since you ask so sweetly. I'll be back soon. Let's go eat bear. Maybe there's game nearby. Oh, really? Okay. She hasn't eaten. And no, you're not a child, but you need to be mindful. I know when I'm old, I'm going to be like, hey, get that for me. I'm old as hell. I've earned this right. I have survived so far. <laughs> I don't mind the help. Didn't really get it when I was young. Might as well get that perk. Right, boar. Wild boar was a common staple. Whenever they would be able to eat meat. Especially if they were in a place that didn't have a lot of rice. Or millets or, you know barley or things like that anyway let's kill the boars oh oh that wasn't crap didn't mean to catch on fire hmm it's already cooked how about that i'll bring this to yuriko make her eat a little hold on they're not moving that's really weird they usually just run and run and run but these are like no my lord i will serve you take my hide thank you noble boar that's really nice all right let me grab nobu again now, it's been a pretty neat episode here, just kind of like learning more about the past. But as I said before, I think it would have been interesting to have like all of Act 1 be about that. You would see the island completely unmolested. You would see it just in its all, you know, full splendor and natural glory. And then out of nowhere, you see the contrast. Yuriko. Yuriko! Her horse isn't here. She rode off. What the hell? Oh, my God. Why, lady? Why? All right, I was hoping I could inspect, but I'm going to go down. Oh, boy. Where is she choosing to potentially die? Everyone I like just Hiya. dies in here. They're like, yeah, I could live, but what if I just left you empty and sad? What if I did that? Powder. Herbs. She came this way. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go search that real quick anyway, just in case I need to do so. No, they're just having me look at it. Okay. And kind of just giving me a vantage point on where she went. Understood. Follow the trail, me. It's also really dangerous out there. There's a lot of Mongolians. Uh-oh. Yuriko's horse. She can't be far. No, she can't be. She's old as hell. All right. 
More footprints leading over there. Understood. Let's have a look then. Let's have a look then. Oh, that's a beautiful location. Hold on, let's look again just in case. So, good, they will let me, good. All right, she's here. Unico! My lord. Unico, are you hurt? No. I was just... I got lost. Where were you going? I saw my mother. She waved but kept walking. I had to catch up. I'm bringing you home. No. My mother, I have to make an offering. You do not. Please, for all the times I've done as you asked, come with me. Let me pay respects to my mother. All right, but don't push yourself. Thank you. Oh boy. Okay, that was a close one. Let's go. It would be interesting if in a sequel you could like rebuild your estate, hire people, and manage. Just whatever. I don't know why I want that, but I do. I always do. My mother would take me on long walks in these hills and teach me about the plants. Maybe that's why you saw her. Yeah, maybe. Here's a new shrine. Or if I need to do anything with it, I have no idea. They're almost there. Glad we're doing all of her stories back to back, though. I don't like having disconnected stories. I like to just have it all done in one go. It keeps the narrative impact intact. Ah, supplies. You have brought me here for those. Very wise woman, I see. <laughs> More crickets too. Uh oh. Beautiful lighting. A cemetery. My family is here. Eleven out of twenty. Let's go follow her. It's raining and awful. You've been out the whole day. I mean, that's a hard day for anyone, any normal young person too. That's a lot. Oh my god. Wow. Now that's beautiful. That night, you brought little Jin to me. And he was so sick after all that time in the forest. We had already lost Lady Sakai. Kazumasa, are you listening? I'm listening. I made him drink that remedy my mother taught him. We sat by his side the whole night. You held my hand. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. That night, I was so scared. So Sad for little Jin. But I was so happy. Does that make me a bad person? No. When he recovered, when you taught me how to ride, the day we rode to the onset, oh, the sunset was red and Oh, that was... That was what? The best day of my life. Oh. Oh. 
It's dark, Kasumasa. Tell me what you see. Okay, let's have a look then. It's dark, huh? Oh boy. I can see all the way to Yariko. I remember the war. A tragedy for all the clans. Castle Canada. I wish you weren't there so often. Why do you say that? You have many responsibilities. I am grateful for the time we share. But I always want more. Where to go? There's the temple in Kushi. You can see the pagoda. Every new year, I pray there for you and little Jin and my family. Jin is lucky you take such good care of him. Now tell me what you see. Yuriko? Rest, Yuriko. The strength we need is all around us. The mighty fall at last to be no more than dust before the wind. Okay, that one got me. I knew it was coming. All the plot beats were there to uh, have that happen, but that actually really got me, man. Um, a reminder of your own grandparents or anything like that, and that always like stirs you. So that was a good storyline. Um, oh man. <sighs> okay. So she's gone now. Got a new straw hat. Okay. <laughs> Somehow that just appeared. An interesting hat. All right. So now Jen's even more alone than ever before. Like all attachments to his youth. That shit's pretty much gone. Hey Just pretty much gone, man. And it is absolutely tragic. I think that was like the most humanizing portion of the game to where I felt very strongly for Jen and his past. So that was very, very tough. And I think once we're back, we'll go help out the monk. I'm going to upgrade my current armor. I'm going to go set it at Onsen too, just to increase my health and all that. And uh, we'll also do the final quest a little bit after. But first, I do want to go upgrade my armor. And I do want to go help out that monk as well. And then we'll finally go get some new warriors. The walls of Yarikawa.